Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. So, I was just watching the market tonight. I'm ready to go to bed and I thought I should do this video before I head to bed because we talked about this coin um, Verge XVG a few days ago. Alright, so if you can recall or if you can go back to my videos on February the 14th um, on Wednesday we talk about words potential breakout but need volume <clears throat> we co we talked about that coin that is setting up pretty nicely and it might break out soon which was right around this apex right around that 14 um, apex uh, <clears throat> and since then it nicely broke out today yesterday and um, and today with much greater volume all right so those are a few who got into those trade on Wednesday congratulations you just made a nice little trade here and you know this is running toward that um, 0 0.078 mark which is going to be the resistance level 3 okay that's gonna be uh, one of the major resistance for intermediate term um, we had that support which is acting as a resistance right now so um, so if you are in the trade if you already made the trade um, keep your eye on that level okay keep your eye on the level of um, 0 0.78 cents um, that's going to be a resistance area I would take some off the table especially if you got into the trade right at the breakout that's some substantial gains and it will be wise to take some money off the table alright don't forget to lock in those gains I have I'm doing the portfolio analysis for um, a lot of the subscribers and viewers right now and one of the biggest mistakes I'm seeing is not locking in the gains being in very speculative coins and not just understanding the basic portfolio management all right so I'm going through those right now um, and those are some very common mistakes that I'm seeing in, in each portfolio that I have came across so far okay uh, that being said let's look at the bigger daily okay let's clean this up a little bit okay so daily again we are coming to this nice resistance point uh, it has it will run okay it will have room to run but we want to make sure we want to make sure that we are taking profits you know let's look it up hold on let's do a retracement on this so the first level that on the Fibonacci for the refreshment is going to be right around that thir 13 cents mark um, that's going to be a one major um, support uh, sorry resistance level so keep eye on that for um, I think we might reach that uh, maybe perhaps in two weeks um, if the market stays positive overall market in crypto stays positive and the volume starts to pick up on verge okay the volume I see it's coming in but we need to we need like more volume on the daily um, if I go to the smaller time frame there's definitely more volume coming in see this all green bars that's a good sign a lot of people coming in so the demand is higher than supply as of now uh, those are all good things to make this price action go higher um, and for intermediate within probably like you know 48 hours we want to see this resistance we want to this is coming to a resistance of around 0 0.078 okay so keep that in mind 
all right um, that's pretty much it guys um, so volume is looking pretty strong right now especially on the four hours uh, keep eye on that <clears throat> So I just wanted to make this quick video, especially um, because we talked about this coin a few days ago and we said it is, it's a potential breakout. A lot of this coin, the ripple is looking pretty nice right now. We talked about Bitcoin um, a breakout, which which happened. We talked about the, um, you know, Litecoin, which happened. So, um, this is it's just a probability. I, I don't have any magic ball that predicts that, hey, we have extended ourselves or like, you know, we are ready to break out. But I do have years of experience and, you know, trained eyes, if you will, um, that pretty much like, you know, when I see this kind of things, it's like, okay, yeah, I've seen this before, been there, done that. And it's like, you know, it's a, that second nature comes out that, hey, this thing is ready to break out. Or, hey, this thing is very extended. Or, hey, this thing is not going to do much right now. We shouldn't be touching it. So those kind of things comes over time. Make after, you know, being, you know, wrong plenty of times. I will be the first one to tell you you know that's how you learn like being like you know in a market situation you can't be right all the time if someone claims that they're always right or every trade that they make is right stay away from those people because best of the best of the best traders will tell you that they cannot be perfect or they cannot be right or all the time but what we can do is we can stacks we can stack the odd in our favor all right we can trade on potential you know probabilities we trade on you know what we know we trade on technicals we trade on we try to analyze the overall picture and again that things will those things will come with experience um yeah so i mean those kind of things will you know you have to adapt to certain market conditions um and you just have to like you know be disciplined in the market because i some of the thing that i'm seeing is people are not being disciplined with their money you know they have gained like thousand percent but then they realize now they're down thousand percent um and trust me I have seen this all this you know this is the market will not be kind to you there are plenty of people who came before you who are in similar situation and got burned out all right there are plenty plenty of examples to go around so don't be naive um, you know be a smart trader and you will last much longer um, because this market will give you opportunities but you have to you have to respect the market, you have to respect the trend, you have to, you know, stay down to the earth, all right? You know, don't get carried away. All right, uh, let's look at BTC real quick. Sorry, I'm a little bit sleepy. It's almost, yeah, 1 a.m. Eastern time, so I'm ready to go to bed. But before I go to bed, okay, so we talked about BTC as well just yesterday i made uh, two days ago i think i made a call that btc is going to hit 11000 all right the first call i made on btc much before people were talking about it that btc is going to hit 10000 all right this is this is when i made the call on february the 9th that btc is going to hit 10000 that's the first call i made all right we were somewhere right around uh, here and that's when I was saying that hey, it's gonna it's ready to hit ten thousand mark. It's not because I have a crystal ball, you know. I, it's not that I have a magic ball. It's just by like you know looking at certain things, looking like you know going through, going back, like just getting things from my experience from the past, how the charts react, how the people pattern 
looking at the patterns that's that's what it is and I'm not going to be right 100% of the time I'm telling you right now it's not it is, no one can be 100% accurate all right if someone claims that they are just fooling you so but what I can promise you is like trading on you know making sure we are stacking the odds in our favor so we are right majority of the time and reducing our downside risk phantom strategy rule number one always 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 manage your downside risk okay I'm gonna say this again phantom strategies rule number one always manage your downside risk and you will be you'll sleep much much better okay you won't have to worry about your upside potential if you manage your downside risk all right um, so that's pretty much and on few days uh, right I think two days ago I made another call that BTC is gonna hit 11,000 and we are coming right at that 11,000 this volume is extremely strong extremely strong all right so there is a lot of that tells you there are more buyers than sellers okay but again stay humble don't get cocky if you will if you get cocky market will have a way to get you back I will promise you that I have been there done that I have done this plenty of time or in my lifetime all right <laughs> I've been one of those guys who got very cocky I have seen it all I have seen the good the bad the ugly <laughs> I have seen it all so and I'm here to give you some advice I hope you take it I hope you apply in your trading and I hope it really do make you a lot of money and makes your life better so um, that being said um, keep your eye on um, the trade La, the Bitcoin is looking very strong right now ripple yeah ripple is ready to break it's just it's itching right now it's itching to break any volume if you get any volume that break will come okay so ripple is ready now let's look at litecoin before i sign off okay so litecoin is trying to make that run toward that 160 mark and I think it's quite possible that we will see this uh, by early next week all right so all right guys that being said Verge um, uh, yeah yep so it's coming right at that 8 cents mark 0 0.078 um, so keep your eye on it it's it's it might be wise to just take slightly off the table because we will see some retracement once we hit that level okay all right guys I hope this was helpful if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the channel I post content every day as you can see we have made plenty of recommend uh, you know calls I mean I wouldn't call it recommendation because I I hate the idea of like you know um, sounding that you know because there is a lot of things that take place before I can even give you a recommendation I have to look at a lot of other pictures so people who are coming to me right now I can give them recommendations on their trade because I'm looking at their portfolio I'm analyzing their portfolio and I can based on their portfolio I can give them some recommendations that's what I'm doing here in crypto and stock portfolio analysis where I actually analyze your portfolio what do you have in it what kind of risk you have what kind of things that might help your portfolio uh, to protect some of the downturn so um, that's why I don't like just throwing out recommendations on the on those general channel videos so if you have any specific questions or if you want me to do your portfolio analysis uh, shoot me an email shoot me an email to phantom.strategies at gmail.com I will have the email address right in this video and I uh, will talk to you um, whatever you have any questions any concerns we'll um, talk it through all right all right guys hope this was helpful give me a thumbs up if you think this was helpful and we'll talk tomorrow all right bye